Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the 2024 Class 2 X State Champion, Professor Bad Rage. Coach McKinney and open comments for me and open up for questions. Congratulations, ladies. Opening comments. Oh my gosh, you're really good. These girls have worked um, We've had a really hard schedule. Um, overcome some injuries, overcome some growing up on the court. Um, and just brought it all together, and we made it. Look good. Questions for Coach Clay. <laughs> that uh, the third set you looked really comfortable going through it. Uh, did you feel like you maybe I get a bit too comfortable going into the fourth set and then having to kind of reset yourself with that big rally at the end? Um, I, I do believe we had a little huddle up at you know mid game, and we come out on the fire the first set, and I think we kind of settled in and talked. You know, we're going to breeze through this. And Lindsay Lane said, no, you're not. <laughs> you're going to have to fight for it. And we adjusted. And we came back and we found the grit. And that's what our PP girls are made of. Can you, for all the players as well, can you guys describe what it took to be able to rally the way you did towards that? Um, well, this is kind of funny, but we asked each man to like We actually like get us fired up and stuff and it just kind of helps us, but it comes from us too. We just kind of just go crazy and that just kind of helps have energy and stuff. Good question. Uh, for, the, for the players, can you kind of describe what it's like to win a second straight state championship? To me, it feels unreal. Like, I still haven't crossed this yet. Uh, it's definitely just overwhelming and I knew we could do it and just coming back from last year, we lost two players last year, so we had to work really hard, like adjust and stuff, and just come together, and it just feels really good. It just knows that we can do anything. Their minds to it. Um, well, this is my first state championship, and I know that to win it, the collective is really easy. Talk. To all of you, Jennifer, you, you alluded to what the journey back here and what it took to get back here. What was that like this year? So, um, coaching change, you know, uh, David Ryan retired. We had to adjust to my coaching style. Um, and we had three key seniors who graduated last year. So it took a lot of messing with rotations, playing with rotations, finding the fit on the court, um, them adapting to me. Um, I've had this in seventh grade. So they knew me, but in the varsity capacity, it's just a different environment. And the intensity is way higher. Um, and everything's on the line. So you've got to give it all you got. And a legacy that Pleasant Valley has, um, I was a part of it when I played at Pleasant Valley. I've got three state championships as a player. One as assistant coach and one as a head coach. Um, and it, one reflection that I made yesterday, and I was talking with my assistant coaches, is it's the culture that we have. Some of the teams, you know, some of the teams never make it here. And the culture never develops. And I cannot, because I'm so embedded in what the matter I've been there since you know, first kindergarten. Um, and graduated from there and coached there that it's just ingrained in me. Like that's who we are. We're winners and we're competitors and we don't give up. And that's what we've continued on the board all through the years. To the girls, could you speak to that, especially what it was like adapting to her coaching style this year? Um, I mean, it was different, and I mean, it wasn't really hard to adapt. It's like, like she said, well, we've had her since seventh grade, and it wasn't like just her. Like we had to take responsibility to adapt, and we had to want it to, and so we just all pulled together, and we felt like we adapted really well. Any questions? <laughs> Did I hear correctly that you won one as a player, one as an assistant, now one as a head coach? Three, three as a player. Three as a player. Yes, one as an assistant and now as a head coach. Did any of them mean any more than the other? <laughs> no, they're every one of them are special. And to be honest, this entire season, Sandy Hunter was my coach. And as soon as I stepped into this role, she was one of the first home calls I made because she was my mentor. She's part of who I am today as a person and who I am as a coach and the expectations that I put on these girls and I have high expectations for them. Um, but something funny, like every year that we come and say, I always wear my rings. <laughs> and I wore ours from last year and I actually bruised my hand yesterday, so I had to switch hands um, from clapping so much. But as far as the you know, significance, every one of them holds so many memories. This one 
lead them to the state championship probably the case. Hey, yeah, we're the most championship ring in a championship post game interview. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> What years did you win it as a player? What years did you win it as a player? 96, 97, and 99. Any other questions? Coach, I know y'all got to pay it that way to see it. Congratulations. And, uh...